Here we have a SAT math question. Okay, let's go to the information. A machine launches a softball from ground level. The softball reaches a maximum height of 51.84 meters uh, above the ground at 1.8 seconds and it's the ground at 3.6 seconds. Which equation represents the height above ground H in meters of the softball T seconds after its launch? Okay, now let me draw an appropriate diagram for this one. Uh, so let me sketch a uh, diagram. Okay, so I am taking uh, the height H on the vertical axis time t on the horizontal axis. Okay, so the question clearly says uh, the machine launches a soft top from ground level. So at the ground level, the height of the ball is zero. So when the machine launches a soft ball, the height of the ball is zero. And also at the time of launching, uh, the value of t is equal to zero. That is time is zero seconds. So when the ball is launched, uh, the height of the ball, that is h is equal to zero and time t is also zero. So usually we have, uh, I mean, uh, usually we have x on the uh, horizontal axis, y on the vertical axis, but here we have uh, t on the horizontal axis. So we have to take t first and h, uh, the variable we have on the vertical axis next. So like uh, t is zero and h is zero at the time of uh, launching the softball. So that's nothing but the origin. So this is a point, I mean, from the origin, the ball is launched and uh, let me mark 1.8 and also here uh, one point, uh, sorry, not 1.8, it's uh, 3.6. So because the ball reaches a maximum height at 1.8 seconds. So, and also it hits the ground at 3.6 uh, seconds. That's why I just marked only these two values on the horizontal axis, uh, these two timings. And also we, we must have marked the height on the vertical axis because the vertical axis represents uh, the height. So the maximum height is given by uh, the question 51.84. Let me mark it over here. Okay, so now the ball is launched at the origin. That is when time t is equal to zero. When the height h is equal to zero, that's ground level. So the ball reaches, uh, the ball travels and reaches a maximum height 51.84. When the time is 1.8 seconds, after it reaches maximum height, uh, it comes uh, uh, back uh, to the ground. And uh, it, it's a ground when time uh, t is equal to 3.6 seconds. So when it scales the path of the softball, so it's clearly a parabola. So it's a para parabola means it's uh, only the quadratic function, uh, only if it scales a graph of a quadratic function or quadratic equation, we'll be getting a parabola. Okay, now uh, let me write uh, the uh, quadratic equation, which is in vertex form, which represents a parabola I've drawn over here, which is the path of the softball. That is y equals to a times x negative h so whole square plus 2k in general. Instead of y, we have h in our problem. So we can write h equals to a times and instead of x, we have t. So t negative and uh, we know we must be knowing the value of h and k. So actually h comma k represents the vertex uh, of the parabola. So what's the vertex of the parabola over here? So to mark the vertex over here, uh, so that's a maximum point, that's a peak. So the peak, peak is nothing but the maximum height of the softball, um, the maximum height reached by the softball. So the maximum height is given by 51.84, but usually we write the exponent first, but instead of x, we have t. So the value of t corresponding to this point over here is 1.8 and uh, the value of h uh, over here is uh, 51.84. So this is the vertex. So for H we have 1.8 and for uh, we uh, for K we have 51.84. So now uh, in this quadratic function for this H we have to plug in uh, 1.8 whole square positive for this K I have to plug in this uh, value 51.84. Okay, now uh, almost I got the quadratic function which represents uh, the given scenario, but still it's not complete because there is an unknown constant A. So to find the value of this unknown constant A, I have to use one of the points of the parabola. So already we have used the vertex over here. Uh, again, I don't, want, I don't want to use this point. So we can consider some other point of the parabola. So we have, uh, we can consider the point over here from where uh, the mission launches a softball. So that is zero comma zero. Otherwise we can even use this point that is uh, 3.6 comma zero. Better we can use this point because in this point, uh, both the coordinates are, are zero. So it will be easier for us to do calculation. Okay, now what I need to do is I have to plug in zero for this T over here and uh, we have to plug in the zero for H over here. Okay, let me do it. Zero is equal to A times uh, zero negative 1.8, the whole square positive 51.84. So zero equals to A times uh, zero negative 1.8 uh, will be negative 1.8, the whole square uh, positive 51.84. Okay, so zero equals to a times. So when I take even exponent for a negative sign, it will become positive. When I evaluate this 1.8, the whole square, it will become 3.24 positive 51.84. Okay, now let me erase other stuff and uh, calculate the value of a. 
Okay, let me continue. Zero equals two. We can write this product uh, a times three point two four as uh, three point two four uh, times a uh, positive fifty one point eight four minus to get the value of a. So for that I have to isolate a. So first let me get rid of this uh, positive fifty one point eight four. For that I have to subtract fifty one point eight four from both sides. Let me do it. So when I do so, this positive value negative value will cancel. I am getting negative fifty one point eight four equals to three point two four times a. Now uh, let me divide both sides by three point two four. Okay, so this three point two four, three point two four will cancel, and we have negative sign over here. When I divide this fifty one point eight four by three point two four, I'm getting sixteen uh, equals to a. So now I got the value of a. That is negative sixteen. Okay, now uh, let me consider uh, the quadratic function uh, we have over here. So in this function, we have to plug in negative sixteen for a. Then I am getting h is equal to negative sixteen times uh, t negative one point eight the whole square uh, positive fifty one point eight four. So we find that this quadratic function in option D. So the correct answer choice for this question is option D.